Hello, this is your Faptain speaking. So, today I bought the uh, Hearthfire Skyrim DLC kind of thing, and I played around with it for a while. And uh, I'm just going to talk about it for a bit while I show you my home. And I've already added a few expansions onto it. Uh, it's like kind of like a Cribs episode, except what I really didn't anticipate is how much focus they would put on, you know, prizes and trophy cases and all this shit. I'm just going to ride around here real quick on the back of my trusty undead stallion, which uh, has been really, really handy since you can just conjure this guy up and then ride him around everywhere because guaranteed, unless you have some ridiculous amount of, uh, you know, carrying capacity, you're going to have to do a lot of walking really slow because it basically starts you out right here. Let me get off the house. It starts you out right here at this thing and it gives you like some clay and some stone and all that stuff out of this chest. And then you have to make a bunch of nails and stuff here with, uh, they unlock this new building materials thing and you have to make these and then you can make super awesome shit out of it for your home. And so this desk is basically like, you use the drafting table, you can decide what buildings you want, but you can only have three, like one on each side. And so I have a trophy room, a main hall, a cellar, an armory, and an enchanter's tower. And I really didn't pick any of these for any reason. I just kind of did because I knew like, I'm not fooling myself. I'm not going to spend any time in my house. What the hell am I going to do with the house in a video game? This is like, I don't know. To me, it's just kind of silly. So basically what this DLC accomplishes is you're going to piss away a shit ton of your money uh, and your gold like I did on frivolous things like this because it'll offer it to you. Like I don't even know, like the only horse I ride, I summon with magic. So what the hell do I need this for, you know? Uh, and then really close to where you start is usually some clay apparently, but there isn't any any place around here to mine the rock that you need, which is really, really frustrating because it's like, what the hell? Why would you make me need all this rock if I have to be fast traveling or slow traveling around? Uh, but whatevs, whatevs. Oh, and this is the one you get by Dawnstar, by the way. So, it's called Hell, Hell Jerkin Hall, and that's where I live. I am the only tenant of Hell Jerkin Hall. You can also, uh, I'm not the tenant, actually, I'm the owner, so get at me. But uh, you can also adopt children and get married and all that stuff. But honestly, like, if that's what you want to do in this game, you know, more power to you, but... For me, I just, you know, I don't care. I don't, I don't want to get married in a video game. What, what am I going to do in the, like, is it going to be some really graphic scene of me and whatever wife I choose to have or husband? You know, I guess my guy could be gay. Uh, and they're just doing debaucherous, horrible things to each other that only would happen in the confines of Skyrim. I imagine there are quite a few fetishes for all the spells I can cast. You know, maybe I can conjure a sexy demon woman. I don't know. It's sky's the limit. But uh, anyway, that's why I'm not going to purchase one. But this is the front area and uh, every room comes with this workbench thing where you can use to improve and add shit in here uh, the only thing I haven't added is wall scones and it's because I just don't care I don't really want to go find goat horns for that express purpose and they give you a bunch of shit to put weapons in and display cases and chests and whatnot but I really haven't been using this because you know really who gives a shit you know uh, this is the next main hallway room, and I really like how when you buy this stuff, they just put a bunch of random shit in here, like one thing of cabbage just randomly thrown in there to make it look like someone lives here. And then uh, I'm pretty sure this is still the main hall area over here that you have to buy, and uh, it's, it's super expensive to make these because you have to make the floor and the, the, the walls and the floor. Well, I guess that goes without saying, but it's not like you get to pick, make main hall, and then all of it's made. You have to go through and make each subsection of it, and that's kind of aggravating. Uh, and then this is the trophy room because I didn't know what else to put here because the only other option was storage. And what am I going to store? You know, I don't really... It's not like I keep weapons around to just put on these things. Like, what am I supposed to put here? Oh, I have to, like, make little dumb thing. Yeah, screw this. Okay, so this room's going to be the guest room. I'm going to make all my guests sleep on stone pillars. And so this is pretty worthless. Um, and if you want to get rid of these and, like, remake them with different shit, you can. And this is my armory, which, as you can see right now, has no weapons in it. I don't know why I made an armory, like, well, I don't know why I made it. I really don't use weapons that much, and if I use a weapon, it's like I'm going to be carrying it around. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll get enough equipment that I'll really need all this shit, but I really don't think so, because, I mean, I'm already close enough to the where I'm going to stop playing that I'm really not going to do too much more with this character. And then uh, this is the most ridiculous room that I added, which is like an enchanter's tower, because I actually do want to get better at enchanting, and I figured, why the hell not? So I built this thing, which required some new 
stuff like glass like you have to go to the store and buy glass and stuff and then uh i don't know why they gave me so many strong boxes like who's gonna be breaking in here to steal stuff from me like why why would i do that and then i have more weapon racks in this room which is kind of out of place and uh I have one thing you can do is um buy a house carl and what a house carl is is they take care of your stuff and like restock when you need it and all that and so i think i'm going to probably do that and so in the spirit of that getting a house carl i'm not going to let them have an easy first day so i'm just going to make a huge mess out of my house and then go hire someone and they can fix it because screw them i'm rich bitch there make a huge mess the house carl better clean this this is going to be ridiculously dirty all right, mission accomplished. So this is my home. I will now go up to the next, oh, and, oh yeah, I actually do need to go out here because this is where there's like an upper story or something to my armory where I can shoot arrows at those fake targets, which I spent like, like I, I checked and when I added it up, it cost me like a hundred gold to make these two little aesthetically kind of semi-pleasing archery targets. You know, it's, it's kind of silly how much money you spend. But it's not real money, so I guess it's not silly. I don't know. All right. So out here, got the archery stuff. And then I have a garden over there, which I'm totally going to use because who would, who would not want a garden in a video game? Uh, and so, yeah, that's... I wonder... I don't even know if I can get in the other side to just walk into my... Uh, tower. Yeah, I guess I can. That's the enchanting tower. And this is where I'm supposed to keep livestock, but it seems like this is a poor livestock strategy, seeing as how there's no door there. So I'm just, I'm just going to walk up here one more time, and then I'm going to go out on top of my roof and show you that, because that's where me and the biddies go up and get tan uh, in my winter, you know, home of luxury. Not really. Hmm. I wish I could, like, throw a huge house party or something. That'd be awesome. That'd be a cool addition. Just throw a massive house party. Get everybody just drunk. All right, I'm going to go up here, and then I'm going to end this video because that's, like, three loading screens I've showed you. And Lord knows I'm not going to go back and edit those out because that's, like, minutes. <laughs> minutes of work, I tell you what. Oh, Lord. And who the hell cares? Looks like the vampires wear mascara. Actually, looks like they wear quite a bit of makeup. Okay, so this is my roof area where I come to think and uh, to have fun times. Oh, a hawk's nest. Well, isn't that just fantastic? I, I'm going to destroy that real quick just because I'm not... Nobody's... I'm not going to let anybody freeload, you know, this is enough. Alright, well this is embarrassing, master level wizard can't freaking get rid of a hawk's nest. But anyway, that's the end of the video, hope you enjoyed, and now I'm going to see if I'm going to survive this fall, let's see. Nope, didn't survive. Alright, that's the end of the video, hope you enjoyed, love you.